Hey picky people. So I just wanted to give you guys an update that Busby was neutered yesterday. So he's been home since yesterday around 4.30 I think we got back. And it's now 2.30 the next day. He's been doing really well. This is the first time I've ever seen him sleeping in a hay pile. So cute. I didn't want to disturb him by getting too much closer to the cage. Uh, he did great through his neuter, came home and right away was pooping and eating, so that's been awesome. Uh, we just have a uh, Medicam to give him for, you know, the next bunch of days to make sure that he's comfortable and have to check his incision twice a day, keep his cage super extra clean, so every morning and night instead of spot cleaning, I'm changing out all, like, the main liner and all the pads to make sure everything's clean and I have to take him out of the cage to check him and to give him his pain meds. Luckily he's pretty decent to handle once out of the cage. He's definitely really nervous to pick up so I have to get him to just go into a bed to pick up the whole bed which is totally fine. But yeah I'm really thankful that so far so good so we just have to keep watching the incision to make sure like there's nothing going on with that because you just want to make sure there's no infection. So it's really nice to have him home. And he's one step closer to going with the ladies or getting friends in general. It's hopefully going to be the sisters. That would be the easiest option. So I'm very excited. Uh, when I do the intros I'll share that. I hope they go well. But he has to heal for two weeks and to make sure that everything looks good. And then we'll be able to try. Normally if you were going to be pairing them with females that aren't spayed, you'd be waiting four to six weeks. There's usually some debate about how long to wait. So I mean, if you want to wait longer, you can. My vet always said minimum of four weeks. Just to make sure everything's not going to impregnate the ladies. But yeah, it's really nice to have him back. I always get nervous for surgeries, obviously, because you want everything to go well. So he got neutered through a Ladybird Sanctuary at the vet that they use, which is the vet that we used for the girl's space. So I was already familiar with them. So yeah, there you have it. He's hiding behind the tunnel now. But that was so cute that he was in the hay pile. One step closer to looking like an actual piggy. He's so handsome too. He likes to be snuggled. Just obviously, as I said, he doesn't like to be picked up. And he's so cool with all his colors. As he's getting a little bit bigger, you can start to see them better. So his whole front end is like a golden blonde. And then he has a bit of white in the middle. And then his back end is like this pretty lilac-y grayish tone and then his bum is white. So he's got lots of different really pretty neutral tones through him. Really nice colors. Maybe one day we'll have no lid and we'll be able to videotape him better. I just don't want to get too close and make him run around or anything like that so I'm just staying back. Because while he's healing initially I just want him to be as calm as it's possible. Oh, and something really funny is, so his name is Busby, B-U-S-B-Y, but the vets had named him Bubsy, <laughs> so B-U-B-S-E-Y, and I just found it really funny because uh, they called to remind me about his appointment and they said that we have Bubsy in for a neuter tomorrow, and then when I was there they called him Bubsy as well. Which I d I'm not going to correct somebody, and I thought it was funny, because I was like, that's a cute name. Little Bubsy, so he's Little Bub. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below. Bye bye If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from.
So keep on watching.